My name's Kristen Harvey, and I'm an artist here in Southern Arizona. When I first moved here, I was just captured by the mountains, number one, and the scenery that even though it's so flat where we are in the desert, we are surrounded by mountains around here. Being able to run the gamut from pine trees down to the desert floor in a half hour is just incredible to me. I grew up in a garden with my grandparents in California and we would play all summer long in their garden with beautiful crepe myrtles and sweet pea flowers and they had fruits and vegetables and we would harvest their walnut tree every year. So I've been in touch with it since a child and um, I've gone through some difficult times in my life and every time um, something gets a little too tough I always turn to nature. It seems like that's the way that I can stay in touch with myself and keep remembering all the good that there is in this world. When I'm having a difficult time, I go directly for a hike, go out in nature, walk, connect, get inspired, and then I come back and interpret that in my own world, in my own way, with my own colors. Mostly, my work would be described as I'm a colorist first. Uh, color pretty much inspires everything that I do creatively. Style-wise or genre, I would say probably Southwest Expressionism. <laughs> That's something that I tend to call it because it's um, outside of myself. It's not um, representational, but it um, allows the viewer to connect with it still as something from nature. And that's what's most important to me, is that the viewer is able to connect with something and say, I recognize that, but it creates a completely different feeling than maybe they would get standing there in real life. I use the full spectrum. I've been a rainbow child ever since I was a kid when my father helped me paint a huge rainbow mural on my wall. And when I go into my work, I literally do set my palette up with the full spectrum of color, so I always have them available. Sometimes I will limit my palette because I'm going for a specific emotion or uh, feeling for the viewer to experience, but otherwise I really just can't help but going into every color in my palette. My style is always evolving. It's changing from a tighter approach earlier in my career to a looser approach now where I feel more of the connection with what I'm actually painting and the flowers and the blooms of the cactus. And one of the things I do try to do with my work as well is surprise people with the beauty of the desert. And that's what I really want to do with my work, is to just bring that full circle, that joy that you feel in the outdoors. I want people to be able to experience that indoors because not everyone can get out and enjoy the outside world, as a lot of us can. My work is very closely tied to my mental health. When I go into my studio, I'm going there with the purpose of connecting again to that which makes me the happiest. There's just something about flowers and plants that humans connect with because it's something that you nurture, it's something that you grow, it's something that you take care of. And in a way, I'm doing that with my art as well. I'm creating an environment, I'm creating a space and some elements that people can interact with and recognize but kind of go beyond that recognition and more to the emotional aspects of it and how they connect with plants in that way. I connect with my work in that way and I hope that they connect with it in the same way. For me, the painting process brings the joy that I experience out in nature full circle. Having grown up and dealt with depression, you find joy where you can. 
And I think because I have had such a connection during the hard times that I go out into nature to find my peace and my happiness. That's the most important thing that I want to do with my work is to spread that joy that I feel when I'm working because when I'm painting and I'm in my process, everything to me at that moment is happiness. And I think that's one of the things I enjoy most about when people do view my work or experience my work, is saying that, you know what, that's the happiest room in my house now and I love going back in there. That's something to me that brings it full circle because it's creating joy for me in my life as I'm creating, but it's bringing it full circle with the people that experience my work and they tend to have that same joy response as well.